Hello and welcome to the next episode. We are stuck in our excommunication here, which we probably can't remove. Someone told me that I can maybe buy indulgences or something somehow. Um, so spend 375 to buy indulgences for your sins. 93 will enrich the courier's coffers and you will gain one yearly papacy for five years. The Pope will appreciate this voluntary offer and therefore will increase your relations with him. You are excommunicated, so the price for indulgence is times bigger. The Pope, on the other hand, will reward your proof of faith by lifting it and will not try to excommunicate you again for five years. Okay, so probably we can get rid by it. Yes, that worked! Ooh! Ah, glory to the Catholic faith that we can just buy ourselves out of the excommunication. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, didn't know that this is a thing, so thank you for telling me outside of the episodes. Um, I, re I kicked all of my advisors here in Dip to get exactly these guys here so i'm either yeah i'm going with this guy here because we are far above our diplomatic relations slot currently and hopefully these rebellions also disappear because we now have tolerance of a true faith again in a decent level and ooh, the true says expired and we are already making a spy network here now Mm. So this one doesn't give us any unit upgrades, so we can actually ignore this. Ooh, casual literacy. We wanted to check this. Yeah, we are actually starting to spread it. So we are 4.5 here in regards to invent the invention. Uh, let's see how fast Naples actually is. Oh no, Naples is much further. Oh, it was this one, which was your 4.5. Okay, so Naples itself is inventing by one per month. That's really good. Um, what I want to avoid is that we uh, accept casual literacy before the nationalism here has disappeared. So that's also going to disappear in 1502. Good. So that roughly aligns with each other. Now we have to wait until this one. Yeah, they are of course going into our realm here. That was so obvious. So let's take all these rebels here. Uh, can we do something about these guys here? We can align them. I can't do much here. So basically... What? Venice is Lutheran. Really? Venice going behind my back here. Evil. It actually is more likely that the that your subjects go to Lutheran as a kind of thing to be disobedient. Um, so you have to rein them in or you just have to annex them, as I will do soonish. So our Kingdom of Africa here will also be done in 1502. Okay, now let's get going here actually we still didn't upgrade our galley force against the mamluk so this will be a problem that we have to be aware of erasmus has spawned erasmus of rotterdam okay now we are going to move our army to yeah good question what's going to be our war goal here so I think the, the minimum war goal that we want to achieve is that we connect our realms here. Ideally, Damascus will not join the war. If we can manage that, we can declare war afterwards again. So let's see. But we are going to pick Rashid here. Rashid is a claim. Yeah, that's a claim. We are going to pick Rashid as our war goal. No, wait a second. We are going with the holy war. Forget what I said. Uh, investment has happened and let's go and nothing nothing all too surprising so we are going with the holy war for Egypt here 
which is at least slightly reducing the cost. And now we go for Rashid here. Mm, let's help here. Do we have our four siege guys still? Yeah, we do. Awesome. And now... Does anyone want to help us here? We are going again for severe looting because uh, we are going to lose this. Genoa? Where's your fleet? Chilling around in Genoa itself. Okay, we are going to get out of there. Fine. As expected, we really need more dip tech to have a better fleet here, which we don't. So that's something we have to accept for the moment here. Uh, loot it. Mm, can we go through there? No, we do have to siege down Cairo first here. And then we give this one to Egypt here. Of course, annexing all that stuff here in Egypt is going to be very, very much aggressive expansion. But it doesn't matter. We are going to take it anyway. The big question though is how far do we want to go here? Because I don't want to conquer down to Nubia. So probably I'm going to stick to the Nile Delta here. Maybe these desert oasis is here to get shiva which has a historic value to the empire and um, let's see we have lower egypt here we have middle egypt oh i have to mute my phone here yeah maybe we take upper egypt as well but that's it so I mute my phone here here we are and now let's continue Stuff has expired. We need to re. Yeah, we should do again. Promote here. And yield concessions. It's fine. Yield concessions is very nice now because we do have a lot of passive uh, growth of centralization. So we can afford the minus 5 or 10, whatever that privilege. Uh, not privilege, but support does. Hmm. Hey, can we get Cairo and then defeat that? <laughs> Funny. Defeat that army here. Let's see. We are going to loot it. Some money here. And what's the damage? Ooh, 52 roots and 32 urbans. That does hurt. And now let's hunt this army. Um, We are going to take the admin here. Come on, don't be successful. Church of Two Sicilies. Um, the excess of the Catholic Church highlighted by humanist thinkers and spread by the new printing press created widespread dissatisfaction across Europe. When one theologian spoke out against the church directly to the people, it sparked a visceral reaction that a strong ruler could take advantage of to seize control of church land and return the church to its apostolic roots. However, the risk of turning heretic are great and the church is still strong. What should we do? Protestant 10. Ah, yeah. I know the heresy to be taught openly. Yeah, this one is a mistake. Um, I would like to get some concessions, but I'm not sure what happens now. We're not accidentally flipping, right? No, he's the Catholic. No idea what happens, but oh, God's sake. can we still get there? Military engineer, we are going for discipline here. Promote him. Just to reduce our losses here. Yeah, and of course we got minus then. Yeah. <laughs> ah, what happened here? Jerusalem. Why are you doing this? Is Damascus Damascus is not in? Ooh, nice. So we're going to retake this one here. Did we lose the transport ship? Of course we lost the transport ship, yeah. Let's go here to our fleet. No, no. Uh, stay home. Mm, and I want to get out of here. The lever against 
again. So we are going to stay. Could go down one level here. Mm. Let's do this actually. Because we else we would have to pay dip. So we are going to disown someone here. Did that work? I'm not sure it worked. Interesting. Okay, we got Gaza. Okay, now we pick this one and time to visit someone. Oh, hopefully we get through here. Bay of Alexandria. Okay, they are moving here. They are not moving there. So let's... Perfect. Time for war score here. 8.6. Where are you going? Ah, you are going there. Bad choice. Time to get wrecked here. Now we hunt this army here. Oh, we left something behind. <laughs> no. And minus 10. Mm. Okay, maybe we have to fetch this Mamluk army here before it does something bad. Mostly lost some infantry here, there. So let's go here. Oh, let's go here, actually. And let's go to Dumyat if we can. Yes, we can. Can we somehow get to them? Mm, I'm not sure what they are doing there, so let's just conquer the stuff here for the moment. Kingdom of Africa has uh, lost a royal marriage, so let's re knew it we're going to siege this stuff down okay. diet of worms pronounce luther as a heretic interesting so okay let's join genoa here loot it I'm losing too many ships here. We are going to support the Dominicans again. Loot, loot, loot. And we are going to take this fort here. And now we can actually transfer all of this to Egypt. The big problem now is just that we need war score again. So we have to find some armies now, somewhere. Because we do have what we need here. Hmm. Looks like that our vessels did us again a very big favor here by dying. Maybe I should have put them on cottage to not pull them in. It might have been smarter here, at least for, for the Eastern Roman Empire. Hmm. Also, we could have taken the military tech already. So let's do this as well. Mm. So, military tech here. Spain would get tertios from this. Okay. Sinai is also Egypt. Here, so let's. The Mamluk army is currently up there. I'm considering to also do a war declaration on Damascus right now. Because they wouldn't pull in Mamluks because we're already at war with them. Yeah. So we could use the holy war from Jerusalem against them and therefore just siege our way up there. However, I could see. Ooh, they are independent. It's a shame if something would happen to you, right? So... Whatever broke your vassalage? A shame. 
Uh, rebellion here. Fine, I don't care. I'm okay, going to transfer this to Jerusalem. And now we just continue into Damascus here. And also take the Holy War. At least they have 11,000 troops. Interesting. And then we just continue conquering here. Um, where's the fort that we can't pass? Is there a fort in here? Probably. But that's soon fallen. Okay. Hmm. So basically all these armies that we have to defeat are up here. So at some point we are going to reach them. We are just going to conquer up north the, in the east here. At some point we are going to have what we want here. Where's the Mamluk army now? Why are we at war with Shivan? Huh, whatever. Okay, continue here. Loot it. Let's help out a fatal here. They're going to have a problem because they can't take that province now. So they have to peace out at some point. And transferring this to us. So now we go for the Matkos here. I assume at least that they can't. Um, 25 dip, yes please. So we are now going into the direction of aggressive expansion as just a number. I'm not sure if we can actually really defeat any coalition which might get thrown at us here. So we should be still a little bit careful about what we do here, but only a little bit. So what do we want to do? I think I'm not going to take Damascus here yet. Instead I do think that I want the coastline here. Take this fort next here. And slowly we can get in get towards these armies here. Ah, I could just peace out with El Fatal. Good. So we can take this province here now. We can actually do a military ID group here. Morale damage taken. Yes, please. Recover army speed. Yes. Awesome. We can just cause something. Ah, yeah. Cyprus. Yes, please. That's also useful. Mm. Poor Roman Empire, but they are just a meat back here right now. We also have some orthodox rebels coming up and some papal rebel rebels, which we have to consider eventually. And also our vessel is getting close to annexation now. Come on. Promote peace and order. Yes. Looted. And now we finish off Jerusalem here. As the first uh, war enemy here. So, Jerusalem. 
emergency reliefs wherever that was okay and our finally our allies are doing something useful so they are conquering down here which is really really good more emergency reliefs we really need a better navy but we don't have the tech for that and I don't see that we are going to have a lot of spare stuff. Spare point. Okay, we are now at... Yeah, at 7% uh, and it's going to spread slowly. Okay, now we can split again Move here. You can continue here. Okay. Mm, influence over Genoa. I think I want to do this because they are still relatively disloyal. So now we can finish these guys off. And therefore enlarge the kingdom. And get some prestige out of it. They don't want to? Really? Okay. But soon they will. Rabulus has fallen. Now this guy. And come on. If we can get the coast connection here, I think that's a decent and reasonable war goal here. So you can just move here. Roman pretender rebels, fine. You have to probably take them out along the way. Loot it and give it to Jerusalem. Um. Tenant? No. No, 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 no. I want to have free presence here. <laughs> they gave again. Negative. Oh, armies. Come on, vessels. What are you doing there? Okay. Jerusalem. Now you want to make peace. Good. And we are going to get six prestige out of it. Awesome. Number one here. I think we do have a mission for this. Yes. Work Sergeant, Legitimacy, Army Tradition. Yeah, we can still wait with this one. We don't need the Army Tradition urgently here. Instead, I'm more interested in the... Oh, I think we need to wait for the siege here. There we are. Mm, Jerusalem. We can actually buy the church levy, uh, church taxes here again. 60%. I think that's fine for going this far. Ooh. Yeah, it's just a number. It's just a number. So let's just take it. We can't change this. So we will have a lot of aggressive expansion anyway. So now we can take this army out here. And they want to die again. Great. Uh, yeah, they went into a coalition now. And now we can actually take out this. Oh, we can't. Okay. Um, that was a rebel, so let's move here. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay. If we were to do something like this. As the next piece, it's another 100 here. I think I'm going to do this, sir. Because, um, why not? If there's a myth of coalition, we can fight it, I hope. Okay, now we have to get here into the west and take some armies out. We do have enough land taken. A fatal joint, of course they did. Banutamim. So basically all of Arabia will join it. Arabia is a problem there because they have a lot of troops. But I think they are behind on tech, right? Oh no, they are not. Ooh. Might be a... Well... I'm still going to risk it. Because I don't want to... 
be here forever. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to only take like the necessary bits here, which is still like another 500 aggressive expansion long term. <laughs> okay, come on. Mm. Okay, uh, the ability to mass produce a written word would re revolutionize the spread of information in many ways early modern society as a whole. Pioneered by the Renaissance, men such as Venetian printer Aldous Manusius, the new art helped fuel the Renaissance by making the translated classics more widely available. Later, the Reformation benefited greatly from the ability to spread critical publications and translations of the Holy Scriptures. Now that printing has matured as a technique and spread throughout Europe, hundreds of thousands of copies of everything from religious and political pamphlets to scientific treaty, tri, tri, treatise, treatise, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, and instructions on how to behave are circulating the continent. With print shops growing ever more commonplace, rulers have found it hard to contain the new technique. As a comparatively easy means of production makes, makes it easy for censorship to be sidestepped by moving business across a border or even just changing the name on a title page. This changes everything. So we get 50, 50, 50, 10 prestige. And we get the hint that we should embrace casual literacy. Provinces get center of printing until the end of game, giving the following effects. Okay. Awesome. The 10 prestige brings us closer to the annexation here. And I want to defeat this army here. Badly. What's that sound? Interesting. Okay, new year. I'm considering that we maybe want to make a white piece with the Mamluks because I'm a little bit afraid of that that are uh, a bit afraid of this mm, coalition which forms okay where are we going now i think we need to hunt this jala with army here Also, we have lost too much war score, I think, to do this reasonably. So maybe we just do a five war truce here, five year truce. And then do it again. Okay, let's try to get this army first and then we can investigate the war score. What we can actually do here. Also the annexation is almost done. Which means we have to. Mm, okay we can defeat this army. Okay that changes everything. We are getting a massive amount of war score here. Twenty-five percent now. Maybe we can hunt this army again. Or well, we settle for twenty-five percent actually. Oh, we are relatively close for this deal. Although it's risky. Let's see if we can hunt this Mamluk army. If we can get it. By the way, when do we have to declare on them again? In three years. Uh, com compromise, please. Okay, now we are going here to defeat this army. I'm not sure where the Mamluks are. But we also take the 3,000. 
units here if we can get them. And they are nowhere to be found. Currently. Hmm. Instead we lost some war score again. Ah, uh, where are you, Mamluks? Come on, show yourself. If I move south here, I'm pretty sure that the Mamluk army will pop up here in the north somewhere again. Now we're down to 57. Vessel troops, really. Okay, let's hunt this 4,000 army here. I'm pretty sure that this army from Jerusalem is going to die as soon as I'm looking away slightly. Why are we, are we not progressing right now? Ah, oh, because of... Mm, yeah. Now they're running away again. Maybe I should just have taken the 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 deal of twenty five percent war score because I don't see any armies here which I could exploit for war score. Let's move here and stay there for a moment. Maybe we can see something somewhere. Oh, they are up north actually. Okay, that's an army we can exploit. Maybe at least, if we can get it. The problem is that we are locked in by our navies because our navy is too bad. And I'm pretty sure they are not... No, no, AI, why? Yeah, minus 19 now. Really? <laughs> now they're even blocking the white piece. That's not... It's insane. How stupid the AI can be to just throw away war score here. Monk preach against heresy. We are going for a policy of intolerance here. Yes, please. Okay. Let's go to Shias and take them out there. If that gets us into a positive, I'm going to use it immediately. But I think I'm going to barely to zero or something. Really? Now you... Oh, come on. Can't get to... <laughs> Come on, move out. I want the war score. Okay, we have to defeat these rebels here. I just want a white piece now. Come on. This is a uh, this war went far from optimal. But we still got the Damascus and the Jerusalem war, which is good. That we achieved a lot and we have a coalition against us, so great, but also not great at the same time. New translation. 
Mm. Humanist scholars. Ah, now we have several rebels successful there. Humanist scholars made many interesting discoveries while translating Greek text into Latin. Because the Byzantines had preserved Roman writings in Greek, it meant that many older works were once thought to be lost were avail available to be studied once more. And humanists busied themselves translating them into Latin to reach a wider audience. Among the most notable was the translation of the New Testament into Latin by Friedrich Arnswald, Danzig theologian and philosopher. The Catholic Church already had a Latin translation, of course, but by going back to preserved Greek copies, it was possible to compare early Christian verses with modern ones. Page by page, the new translation compared the official Vulgate translation with the new one, showing errors and omissions. Educated Catholics soon came to the conclusion that the translators of the Bible were not divinely inspired and the Church could make mistakes. It was a troubling thought. Really? The church makes mistakes? Not my church here. Yeah. Definitely not. Really? You... Oh. And now we have also rebels here in each... I just want to write peace now. Come on. That's how you can waste time in a war. If I would have taken the peace deal long ago, we would have already annexed everything. And so on. Could have done so much on that time frame. Mm. <laughs> Okay, maybe I just concede defeat here. I'm... I want to get out of this war. I want to finish the annexation here. And the occupations are not paying off as well. Come on. Let's see if they would accept this clear offer. Offer tribute. And we're going to do... Uh, the defeat. Yeah, sure. They are not going to accept this. I was already afraid that they would do this. Now they're running towards their island again. And the AI is throwing units in their way again. Okay, I'm going to teach the Mamaria here. <laughs> okay, let's try to get the fleet over there. Okay, that worked. So let's move here. Let's try to use our fleet here again. Do we still have 33? Yes, we do. Come on. Get over there. So first of all, I'm going to take out these rebels here. <laughs> oh, what did we win? Woo. Something was won. Woo. Brilliant. So... Can we get one province? Yes, we can. Can we get two? Could we even get three provinces? Yes, we can. Okay, let's take this. Bam. Almost worth it. Almost. Uh, <laughs> Total amount looted. 13,000. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, we killed two million. No. Our civilian casualties. I don't want to know how big the other was. Other ones were. And our integration is now at 106% from the prestige. So that's basically as soon as we have killed these rebels, we can. Oh no. It happens even without them. 
but the rebels don't disappear. Okay, now we have to just clear these rebels out. And we got a lot of states. So let's check. Actually, so who is disloyal? Uh, we can pay off the debt here. Okay, we are going to annex Venice first now. And Venice is disloyal. Uh, Venice, 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 Venice. He, no, they're not disloyal. I'm confused. Annex them. Mm, what else do we want to annex? I think I want to get rid of the Papal States as soon as possible here now. So, stop relation improvement here. We can recall the thing here from the Mamluks there now we can clean up the rebels everywhere yeah, yeah i know okay and we go here first um so you are getting annexed who else is going to get annexed because I want to free up my diplomatic relations now. We have Ferrara. We can't annex Ferrara yet. We can't vassalize these guys. We can't here. We can't here. So that's the small ones, I guess, for the moment. That we can get rid of. Oh, actually, we can move our fleet here. Our new ships. We have one on trading. Okay. That's one of the rebels here. And actually we can take this mission now here. To get the army tradition and the war exhaustion and legitimacy. It's all nice. Uh, we go here as well. Merge up everything. Okay, we also has this rebel from Egypt which took over. Mm, and after we have taken this one out, we can state everything. Mm, yeah, these annexations should be relatively fast due to the fact that they are not that big. Yes, uh, automatic investor we also have to fix afterwards. And we have to consider where to invest our money now. Okay, third is done. Let's move the fleet over. There we go. And the closest one would be somewhere here. And we can actually start clicking through all these states here. Which is caused a lot of states. We also have to pick a new rival. How many states are this? <laughs> oh, two new rivals. Spain, of course. France, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Easy. And our. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Expel them in this case now, because we don't care anymore. Okay. And we just eclipsed France. Interesting. Mm. I think this year the truth with the Ottomans already expires, which means we have to go to war there before they join the coalition. Or we have to pop the coalition. That's also something we can do. Uh, let's, let's see, actually. December 1506, yes. We have to immediately declare war, declare war when we have the chance. So we shouldn't forget this, else we regret it. Also, we have some rebel problem here. 
I'm going to pop the Papal Separatist Rebels here to just get rid of the progress. Uh, Dominicans again. Move here. And we can... I mean, actually, we want to get to dip 25. So let's take this one. Rate out these annexations. And afterwards, we can actually do what we want to do here. We are going to improve our own subjects here. Mm. Oh, they already gave up on rebellion here. 28,000 Sunni rebels. Interesting. What we can do to improve everything a little bit is to put a grain doll everywhere. And also what we now want to do is utility decisions here. And investment manager. Remove all owned and add all owned again. We are going to increase to 30% of our budget. There we are. And now what we can see here now is actually the resurrect the Roman Empire. We are going to go for this decision basically. That's what we want to do. Own at least 250 cities. We have 160. Have a core in Rome. That's something we have. Provinces in two Sicilies region is fulfilled. Provinces in Italy region is 26. So almost fulfilled. And medieval France region is something we have to work on. And Spain, of course. And then we could re resurrect the Western or for me the whole Roman Empire because I also take took the East. And hey, let's do. Let's prepare here. Let's go to Constantinople itself. We have a military tech upcoming. That won't be in time and I don't care. Let's take the siege ability and then, ooh, we get artillery. That's nice. And we have an Ottoman rebellion in the Byzantines, which is fine. We can defeat that. Okay, let's see our religious makeup here. So our continental Europe stuff is fixed again. The big problems are actually here now on the African continent due to the fact that we also have Lutherans here. Yeah, 14%. So the Catholics are again in the minority. Do we want to... Is there a culture conversion ongoing? Yes, 36%. So we are not going to intervene in the... We're not going to accept any of these North African cultures here. That's of course going to hurt us long short term basically. But it will slow down the culture conversion and I want to do this as fast as possible. Because if we can get Tunis here, which should be something in the making, also these two, then from there we can spread very fast forward. Now Tunis itself uh, should be improved by us, yes. So, um, that's something we have to do with priority here. Communication efficiency is excellent. We can get this even higher by doing a hub, not irrigation, by doing a harborage four. 500 only, perfect. Um, also we can now check, do, we do have a harbor here, yes. We are going to do more or less the same here. 900. Yes, I'm willing to afford and invest into this. But I'm also going to do amenities too here. For 200. Yes, please. And that's it for the moment. That covers this area and this area, and then we need to, when we have money again, we have to build at least two of these ports here. So we could check our, actually, we do have one here. Minus 20%, that's good. It is already two and two, which is really good. 
So actually we could consider making amenities 4 here. Uh, not amenities, coverage 4. Ah, it's too expensive here right now. And then the other harbor. Is this one? Yes, this one is also in harbor. Okay, so these two, this one and this one will be our harbor here. The city, however, needs a little bit more. We could... Oh yeah, this one doesn't have enough urban industries, actually. How about you? You are fine. You have even carpets. Nice. But you need to do something like ship, probably. That's... Let's do processing materials and ships here. And there we go. And afterwards, not afterwards, we are going to dump 50 here, 50 into Algier. And then it later on... Mm, we do need a city in the desert. Mm. We could conquer Figui, Figu whatever it's pronounced. Or this, we could take this one here. Which is already ours and make a capital here. To get communication efficiency here in these regions. We could build up this city here. It has 2,000 residents. I'm leaning towards this one though, because this one has 12,000, so that's much easier to build up. And therefore, much more worth it. They also don't like us, right? Oh, it's only minus 30. That's good. So maybe we want to take this relatively soonish. Okay, and our new army here. We do want to recruit. Yes, we do. Two more horses, five more infantry. And... Okay, Venice is getting annexed. Paper States is getting annexed. What else do we have as vessels? Zeus, which we are not going to annex yet. Mallorca, we are not going to annex yet. Jerusalem and Egypt, which we are also not going to annex yet. Genoa, we can't. Ferrara, we can't. Padua really needs to be our subject soon enough now. They have 100 trust there. We are close. Yeah, we are really close. Maybe after the annexations, that's something we can do. And we do need to get new vessels here. So if we could, for example... Now nah, we are not going to be able to take Florence here. Mm. Are there any cores here? That's a claim. Just claims. So basically, at some point, we also have to ditch Austria and then, for example, take instead. Oh, yeah, so they are rivaled to Austria, which means we could go to Poland and then rival um, ditch Austria for it because I really want Caniola here. So these provinces here really want them. By the way, our culture has now definitely taken a hold here in Albania. That's good. And our local autonomy here is also improving steadily. And, oh yeah, we are actually in a position to consider building our, our capital here in Belgrade. And also here we still need to build a higher hub. Wait a second. We still need to build a harborage here, a higher one. Let's see if we can actually afford harborage level 2 here. That would already do a lot. Yeah, 300. Let's do it. Because going from 1 to 60 is a lot. And then when we put the capital here, this will improve massively. Now let's see how the local autonomy here in Africa will develop. Tunis right now is 
going up actually because of recently conquered and non-accepted culture and elites. What's the problem there? Promote commerce. Mm, can we do something here? Promote the aristocrats. It's all high. We do have some plans there. Mm. Well, all in all, I would, however, say that's good. Now, in regards to the Ottoman Empire, I've been really thinking about what we want to do here. So, basically, I think the goal of the war that we are doing now is going to be these provinces here. All of them. Maybe even as much as we can take from them. And the next war, which is probably the last one we are going to do for them, is to take this bit here. And then I think that's the maximum extent we are going for. Maybe these three here. And these provinces here. Yeah, let's consider here. So Sinai is going to Egypt. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, maybe we also take um, El Fatal out for Jerusalem here and basically build um, something like here, here, here. And then maybe this one as well and then stop for... Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Get this one into the Rome, Eastern Rome. And the rest we don't care for the moment. I think that's our Eastern border here. And then we have to build a lot of ports there to prevent coalition wars, which will be on the horizon. We can't afford, uh, we can't avoid them forever. Now let's do one more thing here, military armies. We want to find good buddies. We are here with 33. France has 39. Mm, of course, France is on the the surlist. Austria has 25. Hungary has 22. But Hungary is basically dead. Bohemia, 19,000. Where's Poland? Where's Poland? Only 9,000. Ooh, they are weak. And Lithuania... 19,000. Okay, Lithuania is strong. Poland is weak. Probably because of their autonomy, right? Yeah, they... <laughs> oh, God. That's terrible. But hopefully they are going to build Poland-Lithuania soon. Mm, we could even help Poland to get into Krerum here. Take more stuff. Ooh, I just got an idea. Oh no, it doesn't work. I thought that these are still cores of Valachia, then we could vassalize them and return cores from Poland. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with Hungary I th for the moment here. How many core provinces do we own? Only Shrem, and Shrem probably will be gone soon, right? Oh no, it's still a Magia. Okay, taking that back. So it will never lose that. Interesting there. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make a cut here. So, next episode, we go to war with the Ottomans here. And let's see how we can continue our eastern border and then turn also our attention to the rest. But I, I think we still need to, de to get vessels here in the rest somehow. But that's something for the next episodes. Leave a like and subscribe and see you next time.